In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Greetings, God's good people. You are listening to Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Monday, the 9th of September, 2024. It is Monday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time, Church Yebi. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 5, verses 1 to 8. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 5. The response to the psalm is, Lead me, Lord, in your justice. The Gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 6 to 11. A meditation is drawn from the Gospel text. It happened that on a Sabbath, when Jesus entered the synagogue and taught, a man was there whose right hand was withered, and the scribes and the Pharisees watched him to see whether he would heal on the Sabbath, so that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts, and he said to the man who had the withered hand, Come on and stand here. And he rose and stood there. And Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do harm, to save life or to destroy it? And he looked around on them all and said to him, Stretch out your hand. And he did so, and his hand was restored. But they were filled with fury and discoursed with one another what they might do to Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is God did not employ you to be a spy. Stop watching others to see what you will use against their actions. God did not employ you to be a spy. Stop watching others to see what you will use against their actions. Dear good people of God, It is a Sabbath day. Jesus is in the synagogue as usual, and he is focusing on himself minding his business, teaching and healing. He has a lot to do. Time is limited. His father's will must be accomplished. On the other side are the scribes and Pharisees who make Jesus their business. They have nothing to do. Idlers. Their work is to busy body about Jesus, nosing into his affairs making themselves monitoring spirits, a job that earns them no salary, a useless employment they give themselves. One is busy working, going about his business. Others make the working one their business. Who goes to heaven for being a monitoring spirit? Who goes to heaven 
for spending their life spying on others? Does God reward you for watching others to see what you use against their actions? While Jesus was spending his time doing good, those ones were watching him. Well, it is not a bad thing to watch someone doing good if that watching is in admiration and praise of the good that they do. If that watching is to learn from them. But no, the scribes and Pharisees were watching, not in admiration or praise, rather to find fault with what Jesus will do. They were watching him to see if he would heal on the Sabbath. And then, I tell you, there are still some like this. While you are busy doing your work and doing good, while you are busy living your life and minding your business, they make your business their business. They have no work. You are their work. They make your life their own personal business. Where you go, what you do, what you say, with whom you stand, is of interest to them. They nose around your affairs, not to admire nor praise you, not to learn from you, no, rather to find something they will use negatively against you. And if you are one of such who has made herself or himself a monitoring spirit, watching others to find fault and to see what you will use against them, quit from it. It is a job that does not pay. Get busy yourself and not busy body about others' lives. You have your own life to live. God did not employ you to spy on others. You lack work. Spending your time watching others to see what you will use against them. When your mind and heart are negative, when your intentions are impure, all you see others do is negative. You don't see their good intentions or actions. In fact, because your own intentions are impure, even the good actions of others become evil for you. You will find fault even if they just greeted someone. That greeting will become negative for you. At the end, when Jesus healed, the Pharisees and scribes, we are told, were furious. But Jesus teaches us a great lesson. He knew their thoughts. This is interesting. He knew what they were thinking. He knew that they were watching him to catch him, to get something negative to use against him. That did not deter him from doing what he was convinced was good. So let people who spend their time watching you not deter you from doing the good you ought to do. Let them watch and you go on doing the good that you ought to do. And why were the scribes and Pharisees furious? They were furious with him for healing. Was it a bad thing he did? They were furious with him for doing good? Furious with him for breaking the law? Should they not rather be happy, even with the healed man, that his suffering had come to an end? But you see, they became blind to all these good things because they had bad intentions. When your intentions are evil about people, even the good they do becomes evil for you. You become blind to see even the obvious. Finally, even if they were watching him to see if he would heal and to heal on the Sabbath was forbidden, why not walk up to him and caution him before he does it? Did any of them walk up to him to say, look, please, it is not allowed. Don't do this. They may use it against you. No, rather they prayed that he fell into their trap. They prayed that he does it so that he falls into their trap. Rather than prevent evil, if at all it was evil, no, they would rather he does the evil so that they use it against him. Someone will see you about committing an error. They will see you missing your way. They won't help you. They won't caution you. They will wait for you to fall. Then they laugh at you. Some even become prophets after the event. <laughs> I had seen it coming. I knew it would happen like this to him or to her. And so you had seen it. So you knew. And what did you do to prevent it from happening? Nothing. You rather watched on, waiting and hoping that they failed for you to use it against them. For the many we have spied on and watched with malicious eyes, Lord have mercy. 
For the many, we have used what they said or did negatively against them. Christ have mercy. For the many who are suffering today because we misinterpreted their actions and spoke or acted negatively, Lord have mercy. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Happy New Week.